Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the lakes and welcome to Great Langdale. It's Christmas Eve, so by the time you're watching this, you're probably all fed and sick of Christmas, but uh, it is Christmas Eve at the moment. And two years ago today, can you believe it? I went up Langdale Pikes there. Um, that was a, a wonderful Christmas Eve. But today I'm across the valley and I'm going up Pike of Blisco. Just that fell, nothing else, no big super duper fancy route. Um, if you cast your mind back to earlier this year when I went and did the Bowfell um, vlog up via the Climbers Traverse, I went over Crinkle Crags and then dropped down to Red Tarn. And the plan was to go up Pike of Blisco, but I ran out of time and it was getting dark. And I think this fell really warrants daylight because the views up there are stunning quite a cold day today in fact it's very cold my hands are absolutely freezing i need to get some gloves on in a minute and i think it's going to be pretty cold on top probably about minus four I'm actually quite amazed at how busy it is today car park was very full I and mean, i thought i was going to be one of the first people here but kind of one of the last <laughs> so today i am not alone I've got young Josh here with me. This is my boy. Hello. My boy Josh. I don't mean that in a kind of like a cool sort of way. He's, he's, he's actually my boy. Um, so, yes, welcome Josh. Welcome to the vlog. Yeah. Your first special guest Hi, of the um, of the series. I don't actually know if you can hear him, so you have to talk into that, Josh. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so yeah, we're going to have a bit of fun today, aren't we? And yeah. get up there, see what we can see, and uh, hopefully not slip off some bit of a crag and die. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna crack on up this bit of road here. So we've, we've parked up at the old dungeon gill and we're gonna kind of start snaking our way up the, the road that leads you to Blee Tarn. And then um, we sort of take the path off that way <laughs> towards Pike of Blisco. And uh, yeah, that's it. So I'll see you a bit further up. Right, so about five minutes uh, has, have passed actually since we're down there talking about getting up this bit of road and then coming off on the path and we are here. So this is it. So yeah, we leave the road. That, that road there obviously goes off towards uh, Blee Tarn and then this kind of winds up here uh, past this little coppice of woods. And it's quite a slog up here. I just said to Josh earlier on, it's, uh, it is quite a, a push. It's very steep, uh, but you just got to get your head down, get up it, and then it, at some point it levels off, and it, then you can see the summit. And you've got a couple of scrambly bits up there as well, which could be quite interesting. Uh, there could be a bit of ice on there, so Josh has got my micro spikes today, and I've got a pair of old crappy crampons, so we'll see. See if we need them. We might not need them at all, but it's kind of worth having them in your bag just in case. Uh, yeah. Looking a bit rubbish, isn't it? Really, it's like, yeah. there's no light at the moment. It's, it's I mean, it was forecast to be um, blue sky and sunny, but it's all a bit cloudy, isn't it? And yeah. A little it's bit of snow was coming yeah. down, wasn't it? In fact, it still is. Yeah, just to see some. Cool. Great. Still not a bad view, though, is it? No, definitely. Yes, yeah, so it's not a massive walk this one today. Um, obviously, because the amount of daylight hours is significantly reduced this time of year it's worth just doing those uh, smaller walks. So it's about 6K, I think it was. I think I told you about 6K, wasn't it? Rough guess, but I'll, as normal, I'll put the route in the description and that'll have the, the full distance in there. So a little bit further up uh, from the road there, Across a few of the gills that lead down into Red Acre Gill. But uh, yeah, gets the old heart pumping this, doesn't it, Josh? Huh? Gets the old heart pumping this bit. Yeah. Beautiful. 
So it's at this point when you cross the second gill that it gets a bit steeper and a little bit more uh, arduous. <laughs> so yeah, so the path just zigzags up uh, up to Rhinos Fell, where, like I said, it kind of levels out a little bit. And at that point, we'll see the, the summit of Pike of Blisco. I'm kind of debating whether to get my camera out or not. I think, Josh. I don't know, it's, see. it's, it's looking good. very nice on Pike Stickle now. Yeah, definitely. Mm. Well. No harm, is there? I can't be bothered though, that's the trouble. <laughs> It was cold, it's now warm, isn't it Josh? Yeah, I'm <gasps> yeah, get a bit sweaty here. But this is the danger, you kind of get hot and sweaty on these bits, get to the top, and it get very cold very quickly. That's when you get your layers on. Okay, so we're just getting to the top of that path now. It's quite a pull up there, it's uh, certainly, not easy it is a bit of a drag yeah but this, at this point here this is where we come out onto rhinos fell and it all opens up now i mean that is looking quite spectacular over there towards Bowfell and crinkle crags so yes the whole view opens up now obviously langville pikes fairfield and seat sandal Helvellyn, everything that way absolutely stunning and obviously, you know, you can see the summit of Pike of Blisco now, just up ahead. A few little scrambly bits up ahead. Uh, might be icy. Might be all right. My goodness, it is windy. Kind of broken the back of it now really that's that path going up to up to this bit here on rhinos fell is the steepest section of the whole walk that's where you gain most of the height um now it is just an enjoyable little stroll up like i say with a couple of scrambles uh, nothing nothing dangerous or scary uh, but you do have to get your hands on the rock a little bit and yeah we'll be at the summit very very soon and here we go in the sunshine josh right. Woo! it's not warm at all <laughs> right so i'll update again when we get to that first little bit of a scramble so see you in a sec all right i'll just get into this bit now there's a little bit of a scramble up and it's a little bit icy as well, so we'll see how we get on. Josh has got up there, he's just flown up there. Alright, let's put that up there. Oh. Whew. Can't feel my hands. I am trying to. Uh, can you come and grab this a minute? Yeah. I need two hands, really. God, what a difference it makes when you've got two hands. Oh, it is, isn't it? It's pretty, pretty much non-stop. <laughs> Rugged up and approaching the second little mini scramblet. Pretty straightforward. <laughs> Just a bit slippy. I'll do, lad. Ooh, that's ice there. I'm not going to go there. <laughs> Ooh, that wind is a nightmare, isn't it? Kind of catches you when you're not ready for it oh, yeah. <laughs> one foot in the air or something oh getting busy now 
not long ago I posted up a picture on my Instagram story. I think it was taken round about here. And it was uh, just a little bit of ice forming on some grass with Bowfell in the background. Very nice. Well, I thought it was. <laughs> but look at that view. Whew. Gorgeous. Definitely no drone action today. None whatsoever. It would end up in Morecambe, I think. <laughs> so we're just going to wait for these guys to go and then head up ourselves. It's like Everest bottleneck, isn't it? Oh. People dying. <laughs> Okay, should we go? First. Huh? I'll, I'll go behind you then, just get you full. Yeah, knock you off. Uh, it's the trouble, it's the, it's the whole one-handed bit, that's the trouble. It's a, real, it's a real struggle. I've got better uh, grip than you. Nah, it's all right. Oh, it's fine. Where did I get me? Uh, uh, can't get my leg off of there. Uh, uh, strength! Oh. <laughs> I <laughs> know, it's, it's this bag, Josh, it's heavy. Heavy, I've got one hand. <laughs> I'm thinking of all the excuses. <laughs> you are? Get off the bloody thing. <laughs> Ooh, wind. Yeah, it feels nice actually. Oh yeah. There we go, Josh Bosch. Twin summits of Pike of Lisco. That's two towers. You've got this little mini summit here and a summit over there as well. This is an outstanding summit actually. It's quite conical. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Be careful here, mate. There's a lot of ice. That is windy. Put my hood up, save my cap. Woohoo! My goodness. Ah. It probably doesn't look that windy, it probably doesn't sound that windy on the camera, but my goodness, it is windy. Ready? <laughs> so, we dropped down a bit. Love days like this. But I don't know if you can hear me. I might just try and talk at the microphone, but this is where Will, my mate Will and me, camped a couple of summers ago. I think my tent was here and his tent was there. What a fantastic place to camp though, my goodness. Really, really beautiful. And completely different to these conditions. It was a very, very hot day and lots of midges and all sorts. Um, oh woo! Tassels. <laughs> your tassel. You need to tuck your tassels. They're not tassels, anyway, they're straps. Oh, Please don't worries. call them tassels. Oh well. <laughs> right, let's go on this side a bit more. Oh, let's get out the wind. Oh, all right. So we have a little wander around here. Yeah. Have a look around. And then uh, probably head on down to just above Red Tarn, I think in a bit but yeah let's go and check out the summit absolutely gorgeous full panorama the windermere down there to Fairfield, St. Sunday Crag peeking through, Helvellyn, Langdale Pikes, me, <laughs> Great Gable over there, and you've got Bowfell, Crinkle Crags, 
fantastic. A stupid boy. Cole Pike. <laughs> and back round, you got Greyfriar. Great cars, Will Howe. Black Sail and Weatherlam. Right there in the middle. There's that plane. Where is it? Good to see you, Josh. Where is it? <laughs> Invisible plane. Right, so we're heading off the summit now. Um, feels wrong to be walking off the summit, having not done some drone footage. I'm a bit gutted about that, actually. I was really looking forward to getting the drone up today and showing you what it's like, this big conical summit. And the views is fantastic. But it's just the way it is, I guess, isn't it? Can you see a path going down there? Oh, it might be all right then. Yeah, we might go down there. I mean, the path is actually normally that way. We've come off the summit a little bit at a weird angle, but there is a reason for that. We're going to head down to a point where Josh and I, while camped a few years back, that is beautiful, isn't it? Look yeah. at Bofell. God, it's gorgeous. I love it, Pike of Blisco. I really do. I think it. I know I keep saying it, but I think it is one of my favourites. I don't know about that, Josh. <laughs> I don't know, mate. I think that's looking a bit, a bit dicey. So we'll, what we'll do is, yeah, we'll try and uh, pick up the normal path. Quite Just be careful. It's really icy. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you can put your spikes on if you want. Right. Yeah. Okay. That's where they come in really handy because you can just, you just fly down, there's no issue at all. <laughs> yep, this is definitely the path. So we're heading down now towards Red Tarn, another Red Tarn. There's the Red Tarn over at um, Helvellyn. And there's this one here. Just as we're about to have our butties, sun goes in. Where are we having them? Well, if I remember rightly, we just get down a little bit further here. Sure thing, isn't it? it is, we kind of walked across because we're trying to find somewhere that's sort of semi-sheltered. Mm. Um, yeah, I think I think I know where it is. We were here. We stopped right here. I think we put the tent right here. Because I remember we were in this this shelter here, and I remember cooking yeah, so the food here. It's not that sheltered here, is it? <laughs> but it was that night. This is definitely yeah. I don't know where, where do we do our. Let's go and see if we can find that spot we did our little photograph. I think that's where we had our photograph in the morning after the wild camp. Yeah. Back up that way. What a fantastic view to wake up to, eh? God, absolutely incredible. So let's go back to the path. What a view! Look at the herdies. Gorgeous. Right, I'm gonna crack on, I'm gonna go and find a nice picnic spot and uh, see you in a minute. We've just had our lunch, haven't we? We're all fed and watered. It's quite nice up there, mm. with a pretty spectacular view of Crinkle Crags and Borfell. I think you'll agree, that's a cracking view. Um, Josh is wearing my coat. Famous. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's looking a bit knackered, I see that now. Um, yeah, there's a nice view over towards Weatherlam as well. You can actually see the entire uh, Weatherlam horseshoe where we could, where we were sat anyway. Uh, Weatherlam Black Sail and, and swirl how and what have you that's definitely one for another vlog in future because that is that is a cracking walk about 10 miles um you can see wet side edge there and uh, we did that god when was that i think you were about i'm sure you were about eight years old yeah, and uh we headed off in some weird direction i think we, we i think we headed up towards great intake 
and went around that way. It was a bit of a, a weird route. We won't, I won't be doing that in the vlog, but yeah, you're eight years old. God. 16 years. 16 years. It's left pain out. But you did it. I mean, you know, eight years old, you're a ten, 10 mile horseshoe. That's pretty impressive. Yeah. Good lad. I think what we're going to do now is we're going to get down to the crossroads by Red Tarn and um, where's that damn path? That was here. And then just head on down really and enjoy that view of the Crinkles and Bowfell for the rest of the way. Overall, good day so far, eh, Josh? Some grand views. Pardon? Decent. decent. It's been decent. Hey! Honestly, you never see me fall over like that. Ridiculous. So, a red tan. Down to the crossroads. Bitch back wash. Just telling Josh before that the uh, first time I came here was on, well, it must have been about 1986 or 87. And it was helping a couple of my friends out who were doing the Duke of Edinburgh, I can't remember, it was a silver or gold award. Three day expedition from Ravenglass to Patterdale. And we came over here, slowly over the years, pieced together the route, and I think I've got it in my head now. And we definitely got to this bit here, coming up from Rhinos Pass, heading down towards Langdale. And I remember I had my 35mm SLR, you know, film SLR. Uh, and I saw this view and flipping heck, it was just, it blew my mind. I'd never seen anything like it. And I took some pictures, waited really excitedly to get them back from the, uh, the boots or whatever it was I got them developed. And they were rubbish, just terrible, terrible pictures, tiny. All the mountains that had kind of ahead of my head were just huge, this expansive area. It was all just flat and rubbish. And it's at that point that I realised that, yeah, you can never really get a, a decent picture of a landscape. And that's why a lot of the time I use my 70 to 200 mil, because then you can kind of compress it a bit and zoom in. So, we are just going to head on down now. And this is a really nice path. This, this top section is a nice path. Uh, probably one of the nicest paths in the lakes. The bottom section is probably the worst path in the lakes. Yeah. So, yeah, we just have to suck it up and... and Take the rough with the smooth, aren't we? Yep. That is cold! God! <sighs> Need to use Josh as a windbreak. <laughs> Need to use these massive tracky bottoms. What? what Nothing. <laughs> Very nice path this actually coming down here. Uh, a little bit icy there, but apart from that, this top section of the path is really nice. Obviously, you've got wonderful views, nice waterfalls, a little bit of ice forming there, which is pretty beautiful. And demonstrates just how cold it is. Yeah, it's nice, and you've got this little bit that sticks out here. Um, spur. All right, Josh. <laughs> oh. But uh, yes, very nice views along here. Looking back at the waterfall. And that's his brownie gill coming out here of the mountain and running down. I'm not entirely sure what this bit's called. Maybe it's still brownie gill, I don't know. Uh, nice though. <laughs> I don't know what, why it just jumped in my head, but I just thought of Peter Andre in the waterfall. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't be doing it in that waterfall, that's for sure. The mysterious girl, the hypothermic girl. Very nice, indeed. Let's go and catch the boy up. He's desperate to get down now. It's cold. Good. Let's look at the light now. Pike a stick will lift up like a, a beacon again. Very nice. Whew. 
Lovely jubbly. Woo! Look at the light, Josh. Look at it. Oh, that's good, isn't it? Oh, is that a down Yeah. That would be quite a good little thing to do, wouldn't it, sometime? Start at the bottom and just work your way up the gill, yeah. just climbing up, scrambling as far as you can go. So, we've got Hell Gill over there, Josh. Hell. It is, that huge cleft in the side of the band. What a cool name. Very distinctive. It'd be great to walk up there, actually, wouldn't it? Again, as far as you can go, just clamber up there and see how far you can get. Hey, Hurdy. Did I say it? What? Huh? I said it. The it same time as you. Did you? Yeah, right at the exact same time. All oh, right, didn't hear you. So you can see the full route now ahead. Hell yeah. Um, Where? So this is Oxendale Beck. So we're going down there then, walking on that path. We're going to cross. We're going to go down here, and you see the bridge. Yeah, yeah. And cross that bridge, and then along that path, through the farm, along the, uh, road. Along the road. Yeah. The pub. The pub. Is it? Easy. Yeah. It's just this bit. This bit is the worst part of the whole walk. It's awful. Oh, you sh back. <laughs> Nearly right at the top, right at the bit that's actually not so bad. <laughs> Guys, treacherous down here. Oh, Ooh, that was close, so he did the splits. See what I mean? See, see, see? See how they're going slopey? Yeah. A little bit smooth. A little bit, a bit well. almost yeah. impossible to walk on. They're better off just not building a path. Yeah, you know. Alrighty. Bottom of the path, bottom of the hell path. And it is hell, even Josh. Agrees me on that one. Very slippy. Yes, I did once again end up on a bum. I didn't film it. But this is Oxendale Beck. Nice little stream. Lovely. Feels very glacial actually. Very similar to a lot of the uh, rivers we went over in Nepal. I say a lot of the rivers is like the same river. Dud Cozy. Cozy. Something like that. Yes, grand day. Grand day indeed. So that's where we were today. Went up that way. It's really low now. Around the back of there. Up onto Pike of Blisco. And yeah, enjoy the view. See the Kestrel here, look, Josh? Yeah. Over the broken down wall. Yeah, it's about, uh, what, 10, 15 mile an hour wind here. Yeah. So what is it like up there? <laughs> Just looking down that bit where Will and I camped, my goodness, that was. Whew. Go. Right, so we keep on going down here to a little farm called Stoolin Farm. It's actually where I went uh, through on the way up to the Bowfell Climbers Traverse vlog. Look at that. Look at it. God. So. Now approaching Stooland Farm. And when you get to this point, you know you, you're almost back in. I like that smell. Oh no, that's a really nice smell. Look at this door here. Definitely corpses in there. <laughs> oh, I can't get to the herdies over that way. Dog. Oh, what a clever dog. Cool. That's big, isn't it? You are allowed to make noise, Josh. <laughs> Just, uh, that's it, pull that. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Fenton. That's awful, 
<laughs> oh, some more people coming now. Look at these here. So we're pretty much back to the car now on that little flat road from Stulling Farm to the old Dungeon Gill. So I might as well wrap it up. What do you reckon, Josh? Yeah. Yeah, look at that line. Oh my God. Absolutely unbelievable. So I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you haven't been too offended by Josh being here. <laughs> I don't know if he'll be in the next one. Yeah, you be in the next one? Yeah, don't get used to it. <laughs> uh, but you've had a good day, haven't you? Yeah, that's been good. It's been a good route, hasn't it? So like I said, about... 6k actually it might be more than that I need to, i'm not gonna say 6k it might be more than that yeah it does feel more because it was windy and a little bit arduous but i hope you can come out on the next one with me i don't know where it's going to be or when soon probably uh well it depends actually if we get into lockdown again who knows but uh, hopefully soon so yeah don't forget to like subscribe and comment especially the commenting bit and uh, if you want to support the channel go to blackcrag.uk and pick up some stuff some photographs or um i've got one or two of these contour crushes left uh, and that's it so i'll see you next time say, say goodbye Jack. See you later. cheers Bye. Mm. Mm. cheers bud it's gone this is the life oh Joshua! Get some ice now. Pass me water, will you? Hurry up, boy. Oh, you took your time, didn't you? Oh, clear off. Come on. Head down! Honestly. Oh. Oh, I'm struggling to undo it. Joshua! Oh yeah. 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 Oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, re really, yeah. Uh, um, Josh? What's wrong with this picture? Hurry up! Can't find it. Can't find it? No. It's there. When did you know it was there? It's always been there. When were you going to tell me? Oh, I thought you might have figured it out yourself. Right, okay. Hurry up. <laughs> Come on, keep up. God's sake, man. Can't get staff. Just can't get them. Hurry up! Don't drop it either. No. Jesus Christ! Whee! Oh, geez. <laughs> right, go on. Let's pass it back then. That's quite funny. Yeah, I'm loving this beer. Huh? I'm loving this beer. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I actually opened your one up. I was there for half hour. Cheers, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Nice. Good, yeah. Open the beer now. <laughs> you sort of opened it and went, oh yeah. <laughs> Sorry, you just walked off and I was there like, what's the other? I was like, I can't tell you if he's pranking me or not. That's probably me.